Whoa, crap. They're everywhere! What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So I want to keep the intro pretty short in this video because I literally just want to get into the gameplay. Uh, I'm really enjoying this game just so that you guys know. Uh, I wouldn't be making so many videos on it if I wasn't. But uh, with that being said, that's going to be literally the intro because I really want to get into this gameplay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so... You're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Yeah, about that. I think you're more emotional than you lead on. Welcome Do you back, have any Captain. special things to tell me? Be of assistance? Uh, why don't you tell me? I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Uh, got a minute to talk. N nah, let's go. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. That kind of reminded me of Star Wars. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and go. I know for sure... Okay, yeah, we have to go back to Gladys, I think. So let's go ahead and go. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Woohoo! Who are my companions? So I got Ellie. Oh yeah, and of course, Sam. Who's the last companion? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and go talk to Gladys. So that we can progress with the story. Whoa, that was a weird little glitch or lag or whatever. But it's all good. And I still want to know where I need to turn this in. Captain Gunner McReed. Because I remember when uh, early on I killed that dude. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and turn this into Gladys. I need to remember to bring... Uh, uh, whatever his name is over here so that we can actually do his companion quest. I still haven't even done that. So where was Gladys? Was it in the rest and go? Uh, I want to say yes. There we go. Hi, Gladys. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Do you, like, not recognize me? Uh, I investigated that distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. Really? Alright, about those secrets you asked me for. What'd you turn up? So, basically I found this fancy toothpaste formula, so... Here you go. These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this. But voice not, want not, I suppose. I still think it's ridiculous that all of the stuff that we just went through was because of toothpaste. Oh, this world, I tell you. So I acquired, uh, acquired some research on wrapped it on Musk, but I found another buyer. Um... No. That's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Yeah, I'm certain. There's nothing left. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but... I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. Oh, I already you did. Come visit any time. Nah, I think I'm good. Later. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. So now I guess we have to go to another world, right? What was it though? I can't even remember. Alright, let me see. Uh, let's take a look at the journal really quick. So, passage to anywhere. Purchase a nav key to Stellar. 10,000 bits though. How many bits do I have? Uh, yeah, I think I'm just a tad bit short. So let's go ahead and do some side quests. And, uh... Try to get some of this money up. So most of this, I think, is on the world that we were just at. So this is on where it says the logs on Hawthorne's and that Phineas has a power new weapon. Uh, the logs on Hawthorne's terminal mentioned rumors on the ground uh, groundbreaker 
of a scientist uh, who bragged about a powerful weapon he can... Okay, let's see. Mentioned looking into Gladys' shop for old records. Apparently, the smuggler acquired several leads that way. Well, that's interesting. But I think I'm good for that right now. Let's see. That's taken care of. Uh, head back to Vaughn and let him know the experiment's dealt. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do that. But that's going to require us to go back to the Roseway, which is fine. I have no problem. But there's there's actually quite a few quests that I have to take care of over there before I can actually purchase that stuff from Gladys. Because I kind of sort of can't afford it right now, which is, I mean, fine, I guess. It's kind of expensive, though. 10,000 bits? I'm a little running low on cash right now. All right. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, Parvati, where are you at? Talk to me. You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I wonder sometimes. I mean, you can do whatever you want, girl. It's your life. If that's what makes you happy, go for it. Uh, what's the big thing you wanted to ask about? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask Junlei to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here on the ship. Uh what did I ask? Uh, I think I think she's saying that she wants to ask Junlei out. Uh That's sweet. Can I help? I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. Yeah, I mean, we're here, but we're, we have to come back anyway, so... Absolutely. Uh... Yeah, for sure. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Sounds good. Good to know. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, flying about on his own? Uh... All right, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna break my legs. Oh man, I didn't break my legs. All right, but let's go ahead and go back to Roseway so that we can actually start completing some of these side quests. Terra 2, Roseway, and there goes our little ship. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. For show. Sure. All righty, so we're finally here. We have to go back and talk to old boy about these schemat. What the hell is that? Is that a slug snake? That's freaking disgusting, bro. Alrighty, let's just forget we ever saw that and move along. <laughs> that was literally a slug, by the way, with a snake's head. So disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I didn't loot this last time. There's so much good stuff on the floor. Looks like that's everything. So let's go ahead and go inside Roseway so that we can finally take care of this business that's looming over our heads. 
Man, this is crazy, dude, how everything's all destroyed because of the uh, of the Raptodons. Luckily, though, we already took care of the problem. At least I think we did. More like, I hope we did. Alright, but anyways, talk to me. News? On that thing we spoke about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that thing? The horny pills got you. I found your experiment. Don't keep me in suspense. Did you get my stuff? I mean... Not mine. This is for other parties. Buyers. Uh, yeah. I kind of blew it up? No, I'm pretty sure I got it. Ah, uh, crap, okay. What? Why? Oh, that was that one freaking thing I did. Oh, crap. Because you were making an illegal drug, I might as well go in this direction. Actually, because what you were doing to the Raptodons was cruel. I didn't haul them here from Monarch. They were gonna die in Dr. Crane's tests anyway. I was just using the extra parts. Okay, right side. If it's destroyed, the cleanup teams can't trace it back to me. Uh, that's a pretty psychotic way to think about it, but okay. I can't believe it. Well, that's your fault, bro. Let's check this stuff out. Nope, nothing spectacular here. Let's check this one. Nothing spectacular here either. Alrighty, so what's next on the mission list? Okay, so I'm not doing that one yet. Uh, is this one on Ro on Ro Roseway? No, this is... uh, Talk to Gladys again. On Roseway. So this one's on Roseway. Anton sent me to Auntie Cleo's old end. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's right. No, that's not where I wanted to go. Where his friend or whatever. He abandoned his friend because he was pre pretty much being a coward. We've already been there. and We've already cleared the place. So it should be pretty easy. But you know what? Now that I think about it. Since we've already been there, chances are that the dude is dead because I didn't see anybody else besides that one chick. Performing a sweep of the area. Classification. Go. Here we go. Sanitization incoming. I love it. Yeah. Not the most intent. Where are you guys going? Is there more? I guess so. Get on. I can't see. What the hell just shot at me? Ah! Woo! Whoa, crap. They're everywhere. That's it. I got pretty messed up on that one, but you know what? We survived. And my companions got very little damage to them, so we're good. Did we ever check this? Probably. Alright, so where is old boy at? I don't see a marker. Oh, there it is. So I think we have to go upstairs. Someone knows how to make an entrance. Oh God. Let's go. That was, uh, my Fortnite skills all over again, I tell you. Uh, how do I go upstairs, though? That's, that's, that's my question. Well, that was interesting. I'll let you guys take care of the rest. There we go, alright. 
There should be something up here, actually. All right. Let's go. Ellie, you're a monster. Is everyone dead? Nope. Run away. Oh, look. I found him. And he's like dead as hell, too. Rest in peace, broski. Sorry that uh, your partner was uh, the coward of the decade. But, oh boy's dead. I thought we were here already. I mean, I guess I was wrong, but what's over here? I'll be taking that. Oh, let's go. I feel bad for the dude, man. Like, he could have literally still been alive had it not been for uh, Jameson's cowardice, man. But, I mean, that pretty much does it. So let's go ahead and just jump to Anton right now. Alrighty, so we're pretty much here. Let's see what Anton has to say about this. What's left there that's worth dying for? You let them get away. Uh, I think that was kind of sort of my fault. Well, you get what you pay for, don't you? <laughs> Hi. Doc Crane better get over himself. Still a lot of raptor on. I'm surprised he doesn't hate me. Oh, it's you. Uh, yes, if it's my me. My thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Uh, I have unfortunate news about your associate, Jameson. Is dead. Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? No, not at all. Cared about how he helped or hurt my research. You're kind of a dick, dude, to be honest. Uh, you really didn't care about him at all. Though, did you? It's all about your ambition. You understand nothing. Me, least of all. I got a pretty good idea. I suppose it's none of my business. Goodbye. I just kind of want to, like, right now. All right, but that does it for that one. Let's go ahead and check our journal and see what else we got going on over here. So this one, I think, is on the groundbreaker. Yep, so Vulcan's Hammer. This is on Roseway. So where is this exactly? Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's actually in here. Let's go talk to Ols Olsen or whatever his name is. Oh, this was a schematic oh, we got off the wall, isn't uh, it? Why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Yeah. You ignored the hell out of me last time I spoke to you. And then we agreed that I was going to get you schematics for some heat ray thing. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah, you asked me to grab your prototype schematic from storage. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. And have you done that? Why do you think I'm here, bro? Got him right here. What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. Just months? Hold on. Force weapons are contraband? Why didn't you turn this in when you found it? Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. These are valuable schematics. I could sell them for quite a bit of profit. Hmm. Sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. <laughs> so be it. I'll buy them off of you. Yep. Did my first bad thing. Deal. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now... Let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and voila. I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. You take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model. Hot off the presses. I'll, uh, 
Call you? Yes, I'll call you. Uh, sure, why not? So what is it that I just got? It's definitely a weapon. Is it this thing? Force. It doesn't even appear to be a unique weapon or anything like that. It's just it's kind of there. It's a handgun 198. That's better than mine. Let's go ahead and put this on two. And I suppose we could try it. What about this one? 187. 53. You know what? The Vulcan, I'll throw that in there too. I guess I'll be a pistol, man. Uh, okay, well, that completes that quest. Suppose we should probably go back into our journal, huh? So this is back on the Groundbreaker. This one is on Edgewater. So I guess we go back. So let's go ahead and do this. And get Parvati her hot date. How do I get out of here? Alright, there we go. So, I just decreased my reputation with Auntie Cleo. And then now, just now, I increased it again. So, woohoo! Alright, where's my ship? Alright, well, let's... I'll meet you guys on the ship. Alright, so we're finally on the Groundbreaker. Yes, it's me. You're like the worst security robot navigator thing known to us <laughs> all right let's go so i guess we're going back to the groundbreaker and we got to make sure we take parvati with us the groundbreaker. question is who am i gonna leave behind you know what since i'm just docked here i'm probably just gonna leave sam behind only because sam can stay here and clean while me and parvati go and uh shop around for some Hygiene products. All right, Parvati. I hope you're ready because we're here to shop around for you. Question is, where would I find hygiene products? That is my question. Let's see here. Lost hope? I think she said something about the last hope, right? Oh no, this is a bar. This is Let me see. Hey Ellie, having your usuals? Not today. I'm on the job. She's Never such. Never thought I'd see the day. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Uh, you know, working. But let me see what you got for sale. What ain't I got? What ain't I got? Uh, a lot apparently. I don't know what to buy. What? Look, talk to me. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. What are you talking about? You helped me out. Uh, what do you think of the new guy, Felix? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Uh. That's not the answer I expected. Then why'd you ask him? I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. Yeah, probably. Uh, I was mostly thinking he'd be. I don't like any of I'm those sure answers. He could hit stuff for us just fine. But I was thinking on what we could do for him. Yep, okay, that works too. Where the hell? Probably the rest and go, actually. That makes the most sense to me right now. Did I buy. Where did I buy all the stuff, though? That's my question. No. No. Wait. No, that's just canned beans. Never mind. Oh, what about this guy? Glad to see a friendly face. What'll it be? Do you got any personal hygiene products? Uh, nothing. Crap, dude. Where am I gonna find those personal hygiene products? That's literally what I'm trying to figure out right now.
Gladys, talk it's to me. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No, not really. Uh. Oh, perfect. My engineer's looking to do some deep cleaning. Wants to impress Chief Junlei. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit. And I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner. Scrubby brush. A nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. Ah, uh, that'll work. What's the scrubby brush for? <laughs> Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Oh, crap. Uh... Crap, this is actually tough. You got a preference, Parvati? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. <laughs> it comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Nope. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. Uh, I say Rosish. You could eeny miny mow it. Take your time, dear. A lady scent says a lot about her. I mean, I guess Rosish, since that's literally what she's trying to go for. We didn't have anything Rosish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real pretty, though. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. Absolutely. For that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. I'm so glad that this is actually working out for her. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a might ripe. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> All right, then. So there's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm going to put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dust back casserole. Sounds Saltina disgusting. And Zeno Gold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. And there's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Alright, we'll figure we'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Dude, you're worth it, girl. I like you a lot. I just want to see you happy. Alright, but what else do we have here, man? Like, I feel like we're already finishing up our stuff here. So, Riz, uh, cakes in the old Rizzo facility in Cascadia on Monarch. We haven't even been to Monarch yet, so we're going to have to wait for this quest, unfortunately. So, tasks... Contract or Captain Stellar Bay. Okay, so we still need to purchase the nav key. So we're at seven. We're almost at eight thousand. So we're actually getting up there. So let's go ahead and do the vicar thing. So we have to go back to the ship and actually get the vicar. So I'm gonna get him and then uh, I'm just gonna replace Parvati since we're done with her for now. She can go ahead and just hang out on the ship while I bring Vicar uh, Max out here so we can do his little stealthy mission. And then it'll be uh, me, Ellie, and the Vicar on this. Alright, so now that the Vicar is here with us, we should be able to do this mission just fine. Hopefully. She's kind of nervous though because I'm not really sure... I'm going to save it before we actually go in there. Whoops. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and go into sneak mode. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. 
Quiet. Quiet. Oh shit. Incoming. Oh. Let's try that again. Yes. Shh. Oh god. We're gonna get caught. Oh fuck. Run! Incoming! Well, let's try that again. I legit really don't want to stir I things up. Can, can you say that any louder, Ellie? Holy shit, dude. Gotta be quiet. Oh god. Here they come. Open fire. Well, this is a lot harder than I okay. expected. Can I just tell them to stay here? Uh something on your mind? Yes, stay here. Okay, never mind. I can't tell them to stay here, so. Wait, maybe I can go this way. I don't have enough picks, though. Crap. Oh, God. I wonder if that's going to be good enough for us to sneak through. No. It's not. Quietly now. All right, so how the hell I know I have to go through here, man. This is going to be the fastest way. But I can't because, oh boy, that's coming right now. It's going to catch us. I wish I could tell these guys to just chill the hell out for a second. Well. What's that noise? Yep, yeah, we got caught. Their mistake. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and level up. Maybe I can do some perks. Let me see. Slow the world. Okay, let's go ahead and try to go to tier two. Tactical dilation. No. Well, this is actually pretty interesting. Headshot damage. I might take that. No. You have a way with convincing vendors to... Bonus to dialogue skills when you have no companions. No... Nope. 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 Okay, so these are pretty good. Um. But right now I need something that's going to help me with stealth. I don't see anything that's going to help me with stealth. No, I'm pretty screwed in that department. And the vicar, 
doesn't have any either. Neither does Ellie, it looks like. So it's just me, but... Crap, okay. Well, I mean, I guess... Let me see, this is for... When you critically hit a target, you have a chance of immediately resetting the cooldown of a companion's ability. Using a companion ability has a chance to reset the other companions, okay. Killing an enemy reduces the remaining cooldown of a companion's cooldown, okay. Uh... I'm not sure what to get. We'll just do we'll just do this. Yes. And then skills. I guess since I'm just gonna be doing handguns, I'm just gonna go with handgun. We'll put that to 60. And then the rest. Uh I guess we could put it. Oh, I mean, I guess I could put it to stealth, huh? Hopefully this helps. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and try saving it again. Somehow, I don't think this is going to help. Do I have anything in my inventory that's going to help with sneak? So that's melee weapon, that's tech skills. That's absolutely nothing. That's block, tech, defense. I have no idea what this is, but it's engineering. And then long guns. What does this do? Well, yeah, I already have armor that does sneak. So if I'm not sneaky enough for all of this, then I'm screwed. Oh god, I'm terrified. What? Oh no. Leave me alone, please. I actually it actually worked. But I was supposed to go on the damn terminal. Huh? That's behind that door. Go ahead and steal this stuff. Only because I'm going to need it. ID cartridge? Oh, okay, cool. Very nice. So does that mean I can walk around? I think I can walk around now. Hi. Dude, that is... That is pretty sick, bro. Not gonna lie. But I need to figure out how to get into that freaking room, man. Because it's literally in there. Because I need 30. Maybe we could find a store or something. That's going to help with that. Let's check in here. Anything to help me sneak in there? So why can't I buy this? Probably because my reputation isn't high enough, huh? Let's see. Nothing, 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 more nothing. See, I can't get this. It's 
I really need to find some more lock picks and stuff. Maybe I can go in through the roof. And that doesn't look like it's going to help at all. All right, let's go ahead and back down and break some legs in the process. Maybe we can buy some. Wait, what is this? Yeah, I already have that. Oh, I guess I could have got that first, damn it. Hold on. Let's go ahead and sneak. Hopefully nobody can see us. Because I need that mag lock, man. Let's see if there's any more around here. Because if we can find some more, that'll be freaking epic. I'm surprised none of that was... Tagged for stealing. This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend nope. Township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for Like honestly at this point I'm willing to just buy some maglocks. Or magpicks or whatever you want to call them. Let me see. Let's check over here. Talk to me, sir. Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Eh. What are you saying, Martin? That's an anti Cleo's product. My law, what have I done? The company will have my head. Both of them. This is awful. Help me, oh Lord! Oh, he's screwed. Gotcha. What I wouldn't give to see the look on your face. <laughs> this guy's really easy to fuck with. Hell yeah, he what, is. What kind of depraved mind would conjure such a nightmare? Uh, have you met Ellie? That's Ellie. Isn't she great? Agree to disagree. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'd like to put this behind us and forget it ever happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you have for sale? Uh, have a look. Please have some mag locks or mag picks. I don't think you do. Crap. I like the head though. Wait a minute. This is Parvati's stuff. Okay, so he's got nothing useful for me. And I don't think there's going to be anything in there. Let's check the waste disposal, I suppose. We're getting all our shots after this. That's so disgusting. Well, there's a couple of... Uh, things down there so who knows maybe Seems we'll find like something way to die, but... all right let's check it out speaking of which that dude's died what the hell is down there dude like death is down there pretty much all right nothing over here Come on, man. I need somewhere to buy all this stuff. It doesn't even look like I'm going to be able to, to be honest, man. Maybe in engineering, but... Have you seen this man? Who knows? This is Halcyon Noon. We have your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Let me see. This is just 
a food person. Salvage, maybe? Miss Lilia takes good care of us. Sublight for life. I know there's a shop upstairs. At this point, I'm crossing my fingers. Let's see. Can you sell me something? Make this conversation worth my time, Captain. Nothing. Crap, okay. And nothing to steal. I might be a little screwed for this mission. So, Vicar, you might be out, out of luck. Let's just try a couple more places. Ah, uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll have some here. Uh, hello. Uh, June Lei called up from engineering. Said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Uh, Dr. Fenhill, I hope you're not here to harass any of our patients. Harassing? Come on. I was trying to help Jesse. You have a creative definition of helping. <laughs> and it's lucky for us both that I've found gainful employment with someone who appreciates my ingenuity. Good luck with this one, Captain. Oh, I don't now, need luck. Something I can help you with. Do you have anything for sale? A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck. And a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. Ooh. I want to buy this just to buy it. I'll buy it just for the hell of it. And that. Just because I already have the overalls. Oh, crap. Okay. Bell's shells. I doubt this person has anything because it sounds like this person is nothing but guns and ammo. You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah. <sighs> That's how you know your weapon loves you back. Well, that's nice. Ellie, not mine, but it's been a while. How's that whisper muzzle working out for you? I sold it. Didn't seem to make me any quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. <laughs> you want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me because I don't bite back. Oh, makes sense. Well, let's see what you got for sale. Do you have any unique weapons? No, you don't. Do you have unique armor? No, you don't. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Well, I think this dude is, is this what I just bought? Yeah, I think that's what I just bought. I don't think I've checked in the rest and go. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following. Come on. What the hell? I don't need to hack computers. I need to get into a lock. Do any of you guys have some that I can steal? I guess not. Maybe upstairs? This is literally people's living quarters. Nothing. Off to the next room. What is this? Bypass something, but I don't need those. Let's go ahead and break some legs. Anything back? Ooh, what's back here? I'll keep quiet. Well, that's interesting.
Yeah, but it's nothing that I'm looking for. At least not yet. Let's see. Adreno. Well, I'll definitely take the Adreno. Well, I'm not supposed to be back here. Uh, ooh, a necklace. Got a medical key. Oh, still nothing. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back. So, Vicar, you're literally shit out of luck, bro, because I need to grind for some uh, mag picks. Yep, I don't know where else I can look for some. So... I think that's going to have to do it for today, you guys. It kind of sucks that I couldn't figure or uh, find enough mag locks or mag picks or whatever. But uh, before the next video, I'll definitely make sure that we have enough so that we can actually continue the mission. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.